Topic 3, Lesson 1, Representing Numbers. Well, so far, you know how to read and write numbers in the thousands uh, using shorthand form. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to read and write those numbers in other ways. So our standard is to read and write multi-digit whole numbers using base 10 numerals, number names in expanded form. We're definitely going to look at expanded form here. So let's move on. Our focus is, what are some ways to represent numbers in the thousands? So let's take a look at an example. Let's say an airplane flies at an altitude of 1,358 feet. How can you represent this number using the smallest number of place value blocks? So let's take a look at it. So our number is 1,358. And there's several ways we could actually represent this. Now one, as we mentioned, is expanded form. And you probably saw this in previous years. But you're going to take each of these numbers and expand it out. So this first one is really not a 1. It really means 1,000 because it's in the thousands place. Plus the next one would be 300. Not 3, but 300. Plus 50. That's that one and then plus 8. That was what we call expanded form. Okay, so then next, what's another way to represent that? Well, we could also use blocks. Well, if we start off with the thousands, we could build a, like, a little cube here, and this would be considered our 1,000. And then for the hundreds, we could just draw three of these and each of these would represent 100 and then for the 50 we could use base 10 blocks we can have five of those and then for the ones place the 8 we can just draw little blocks little single blocks 6 7 and 8 so there's a few ways we could represent the same number just the number itself, expanded form, and then of course using blocks. Now let's try this. What number is 2,000 more than 1,358? Write your answer in expanded form. So pause the video and see if you can do it. Good luck. All right, how'd you do? So what number is 2,000 more than 1,358? And if we write it in expanded form, well, first of all, we would need to add it all together. And because we're going to have 2,000 plus, and again, we've got the 1,000 plus the 300 plus the 50 plus the 8. Well, the easy thing here now is just to combine these two. So now we would have 3,000 plus 300 plus 50 plus 8. And so our full answer would be 3,358. But this down here is the expanded form. Did you get that? Good. Now try some on your own. Good luck.